Hey there, I'm Case, and here's what's new in DevTools in Chrome 60. If you want to improve the quality of your site but don't know where to start, the new Audits panel is a great place to get some inspiration. To run an audit, click the Audits tab, click Perform an Audit, then click Run Audit. After 15 seconds or so, DevTools gives you a report on the page. These top-level scores are a summary of how you did in that category. Below that are the individual tests that make up each category's score. Fix the failing tests to improve the quality of your page. This new Audits panel is powered by an open source project called Lighthouse. Check out the Lighthouse GitHub repo if you've got some ideas for audits we should build, or if you want to contribute them yourself. If you're working on a big site, chances are that your pages interact with components from other teams in your company, or ad networks, or libraries, and so on. Third-party badges help you see which third parties might not be playing too nicely with your pages. Enable badges by opening the command menu, which is Command-Shift-P on Mac or Control-Shift-P on Windows and Linux. Start typing badges, then select Show third-party badges. In the network panel, you can now see a little badge next to each request indicating who caused it. And in the console, you can see who caused a message or violation to be logged. You can also sort performance recordings by selecting the Group by Product option. When you're paused on a line of code, you often want to continue execution up to some later point. The new continue to here gesture can speed up this workflow. Right now, I'm paused on line 9. I want to execute up to line 20, then pause on that line. To do this, I hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows and Linux, and DevTools highlights destinations in blue. From here, I click on a destination to execute the script up to that point. The context selection menu now provides more information about the frames on a page. Before, you would just get a default drop-down menu. Now, DevTools gives frames more descriptive names. Also, when you hover over a frame, DevTools highlights it in the viewport. The console now provides more helpful object previews. Before, DevTools would just display the string object when logging out an object. Not that useful. Now, it shows you more of the object's contents. The Coverage tab now provides real-time updates while recording. Before, it would just say Recording, which would force you to stop your recording in order to analyze the results. But now you can analyze the results while the recording is still happening. The Network Throttling menu has been simplified to the most popular options, Slow 3G, Fast 3G, and Offline. Also, the team tweaked the settings to better match real-world 3G connections, so you might notice that pages load slower now when throttling is enabled. Last, the async checkbox in the Sources panel has been removed, and its functionality is now on by default because there's no longer a performance overhead. You can still disable it from settings if you need it off for some reason. That's all for Chrome 60. If you want to discuss these changes, start a thread in the mailing list, or tweet us at Chrome DevTools. And if you want the latest news and ideas in web development, subscribe to the Google Chrome Developers YouTube channel. I'll see you in six weeks for Chrome 61.